Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see what are the conditions that the oscillator circuit required to satisfy to work as an oscillator and that is called as Bakusen's criteria. So let's begin with the topic. We know that oscillator is basically an amplifier which produces output oscillations without any AC input signal but by using a positive feedback. But it is not always required that positive feedback always provides the sustained oscillations or proper oscillations. The oscillations provided by the circuit having a fixed frequency and magnitude. We can produce sine wave or AC signals at the output of oscillators. So oscillators are basically AC signal generators. We can say that oscillator is basically an amplifier circuit which uses a positive feedback. But in order to provide proper oscillation or sustained oscillation, it is very much important that the amplifier circuit requires to satisfy certain criteria. And that criteria is called as Bakusen's criteria. So let's understand the Bakusen's criteria in detail. So from the block diagram, we will come to know that here input Vs is equals to zero. That means no input is applied to the amplifier circuit. Mixer circuit is optional or else we can directly give the feedback signal to the input of amplifier. The amplifier circuit having gain is equals to A. Here we can say that the amplifier introduces, if the amplifier introduces a phase shift of 180 degree, so in order to have a total phase shift of 360 degree or 0 degree, that means in order to have a positive feedback, the phase shift network or a feedback network required to provide a phase shift of additional 180 degree. So from the block diagram we will come to know that here no input signal is applied, the amplifier having gain is equals to A, the output of the amplifier is equals to V0. Now as amplifier provides a phase shift of 180 degree, there is a phase difference between input of amplifier and output of amplifier or we can say the output of amplifier is phase inverted version of input of amplifier. Now this output of amplifier V0 is acts as an input to the feedback network. The feedback network having a feedback factor equals to beta. So to have a total phase shift of 0 or 360 degree, the feedback network now introduces an additional phase shift of 180 degree. So that the total phase shift around the loop becomes equals to 0 or 360 degree. So VO acts as an input to the feedback network. The feedback network provides output signal as VF and that VF is equals to beta times V0. Now this VF is acts as an input to the amplifier directly or it can be applied to the mixer. Mixer do not having any additional extra input signal that means there is no external AC input signal applied to the amplifier circuit. Now let's understand the statement of Barkusen's criteria. The two conditions are required to be satisfied by the amplifier circuit to used as an oscillator with positive feedback and the statements are an oscillator will operate at that frequency for which the total phase shift introduced as measured from input terminal through the amplifier and feedback network and back again to the input is equals to 0 degree or 360 degree or integral multiple of 360 degree. It indicates that the total phase shift around the loop is required to be 0 degree or 360 degree or multiple of 360 degree. That means if the amplifier circuit provides a phase shift of 180 degree, then the feedback network required to provide a phase shift of additional 180 degree. Then only the total phase shift around the loop becomes 0 degree or 360 degree or multiple of 360 degree. If amplifier circuit introduces a phase shift of 0 degree, then a feedback network needs to introduce a phase shift of 0 degree. So the first condition is the total phase shift around the loop is required to be 0, 360 or integral multiple of 360 degree. The second condition is at the oscillator frequency, the magnitude of the product of open loop gain that is A and feedback factor beta is equal to or greater than unity. That means 
the gain of amplifier and a feedback factor is required to be greater than 1 that means magnitude of a beta is supposed to be 1 and a beta is now called as loop gain so these are the two conditions that are required to be satisfied by the amplifier circuit with positive feedback in order to work it as an oscillator and to provide the sustain oscillation the first condition is the total phase shift around the loop is required to be 0 degree or 360 degree or integral multiple of 360 degree that means 360 720 etc and the second condition is magnitude of a beta is always greater than equals to unity now let's understand the block diagram of oscillator by using these two conditions so basically the block diagram of oscillator consists of only two components and they are amplifier with gain a and feedback network with gain beta the feedback network is usually used as a phase shift network now here no input signal that means no additional extra ac input signal is applied the output of feedback network it acts as an input to the amplifier so vi is basically input to the amplifier if the amplifier uses or if the amplifier introduces a phase shift of 180 degree then output of amplifier v0 is phase inverted version of input signal vi this phase inverted version of input signal vi is acts as an input to the feedback network as 180 degree phase shift is introduced by an amplifier circuit therefore now phase shift network or we can say a feedback network required to introduce additional phase shift of 180 degree therefore the total phase shift now around the loop is either 0 degree or 360 degree the feedback network provides output as vf now this output is acts as an input to the amplifier so this is how by using a Barkusen's criteria or by satisfying the Barkusen's criteria amplifier can work as an oscillator that means it ensures that the feedback becomes a positive in nature and it provides a sustained oscillations now how the amplifier circuit can produce these oscillations without any input signal now we know that the circuit consists of resistors capacitors inductors and at room temperature the free electrons present in the resistor capacitor or in passive element causes a motion that movement of free electron provides some noise voltage at the output so without any ac input signal also we can get the signal at the output because of the movement of electron at room temperature now the oscillator circuit produces oscillations that oscillations are of two type and they are damp oscillation and undamped oscillation now damp oscillations are those oscillations in which the amplitude of the oscillations it reduces with respect to time so initially the amplitude is very high and then as time passes the amplitude is get reduces whereas undamped oscillations are those oscillations which produces output with constant amplitude and constant frequency but practically it is always not possible to obtain the undamped oscillation sometime because of the practical reason sometime because of practical reason damped oscillations will be available at the output so these two are the types of oscillations that can be obtained at the output of oscillator circuit now let's understand what are the various applications where oscillator circuits can be used as oscillator provides sustained oscillations or damp and damp oscillation and these oscillation having variable magnitude and variable frequency therefore the oscillator circuits having many applications in the electronic field they can be used as a radio receiver for obtaining a signal at different frequency then they can be used in the tv receivers they can be used in the signal generators as we know that oscillator circuit operates on a dc power supply then we can say that the oscillator circuits can generate or convert dc power supply into ac signals therefore they can be used as a signal generators in many laboratory application then they can be used as a clock generators in a logic circuit or they can be used in a phase lock loop so these are the some generalized applications of oscillator circuit where we can use oscillator circuit for producing various waveforms or for producing various signals of variable amplitude and variable frequency so this is what about the Barkusen's criteria and 
principle of working of oscillator circuit. The Bakusun's criteria are the two conditions that require to be satisfied by the amplifier circuit in order to use it as an oscillator. And the conditions are the total phase shift around the loop is required to be 0 degree or 360 degree or integral multiple of 360 degree is the first condition. And the second condition is the magnitude of loop gain that means mod of A beta is always required to be greater than 1 or greater than unity. When the amplifier circuit with positive feedback satisfied these two condition, then the circuit can be used as an oscillator. So I hope you understand the concept of Bakusen's criteria and working of oscillator. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.